This is Pranav Gwar Thakurta from Edu TV with over 5 lakh viewers across the world. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever geography you are in. Introducing Mrs. Anupama Ramachandra, Principal, Delhi Public School, Electronic City, Bangalore, and Dr. Indu Pathak, an accomplished academician and researcher. Mrs. Anupama Ramachandra, Principal at Delhi Public School, Electronic City, Bangalore, is a visionary leader dedicated to creating a thriving learning environment. Dr. Indu Pathak, a renowned academician and researcher from the prestigious Shushant University in the Millennium City of Gurugram, has made significant contributions through her extensive publications and expertise. Join us in celebrating the impactful achievements of Mrs. Anupama Ramachandra and Dr. Indu Pathak in the field of education. Thank you so much, Pradamji. Welcome to the Principal's Podcast once again. We have a very special guest today, Madam Anupama Ramchandran, Principal of DPS Bangalore. Namaskar, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing very well, thank you. Ma'am, please tell us about yourself and your journey. Yeah, so I think uh, about myself, uh, uh, Pranav has already given a very generous introduction. Uh, I am a teacher uh, by chance uh, and uh, a profession that I took up just to pass time and somebody forced me into it. When I look back at the more than 30 years that I've been in the field of education, I feel that the journey has been very eventful, uh, very empowering. It has made me a better person. And also the journey has been very humbling. Uh, the more we progress in this profession, we just realize that there is so much more to do. Uh, and uh, we are just a small speck in the big picture of educating children. So uh, I started my journey as a teacher in Bangalore in the year 1990. And uh, I had to move cities uh, because of uh, my spouse being transferred. Uh, and I have taught in uh, different uh, cities of uh, in in India, like Delhi. I've taught at Trivandrum. I've taught at Mumbai. I've taught at Mysore. Uh, so I feel that uh, no matter which part of the world we go, children are children. Uh, they all need something very common, which is our love and uh, understanding and uh, unconditional support. Uh, and um, it, it is the truth that uh, we have to deal with them. <laughs> Excuse me, with a lot of patience. And I must say that uh, looking back, I'm very happy with my journey. And in Bengali, we say uh, in this time, someone is remembering you. I think my husband must be remembering me because today is our wedding anniversary. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Very, very congratulations, ma'am. On, on records, ma'am. Congratulations, Mrs. and Mr. Uh, Ramachandra, over to you, ma'am. Thank you. That is uh, that is my journey in a nutshell. Uh, that uh, every day I am enthusiastic to come to school. So I think that speaks how uh, passionately I take up what I do. There is not a single day where I feel let me take a day off and stay at home. So everybody says uh, school is the second home. But for me, I think school is my first home and my home is the second home. Inspiring journey, ma'am. Indeed. <laughs> uh, ma'am, uh, how can the high school students mm -hmm. better prepare themselves for transition from school to university? Yeah, thank you for that uh, very relevant question. Uh, we see a general trend. Uh, this used to be uh, so... Uh, like a decade back, but I see uh, there is very little change in this trend that majority of the students who are in schools start thinking about university only when they come to 10th grade, 9th or 10th grade. Uh, so there is no direction to their, uh, uh, you know, whatever effort they're putting in, there is no focus and their choice of field 
is not very logical it is not a very uh, it is not based on information so they don't make wise choices uh, they go by the trend they go by parents choice or their neighbor is doing something so uh, i feel that uh, for students to transition from schools to universities in a very smooth manner and in a meaningful manner i feel the orientation of university should begin at least by middle school children should be made aware that when they step out of the school they will be going to universities and universities are not like schools where they get to study all the subjects so they will they will have to think of specialization and this has to be uh, uh, told to the students very early on and what is very critical here is we have to make the parents also part of this conversation because this is a joint decision the ch the child cannot take a uh, decision on uh, his or her own so we have to uh, keep the parents in the loop and have constant conversations about this because i have seen that if parents are given the right kind of orientation they also change their mind and let their child do what he or she is passionate about so i feel that it is all about preparing them and letting them know about the choices uh, the rest will fall in place but i feel this is the most important uh, you know dimension or uh, element that we have to take care of very well said ma'am uh, ma'am are there any specific areas knowledge areas or skills which a student should focus on before entering the university yes absolutely uh, there are uh, certain areas which they have to focus on uh primarily i think uh, they have to start uh, focusing on uh what is very evident see even in a school there are very very few children i would say who excel in all the subjects but right from primary school you will see an inclination uh towards a few subjects they are doing well it is not that the teachers are not teaching them well it is just that the child is more interested and naturally they are learning more in a particular subject so uh, the adults who are taking care of the children especially the parents and the teachers should be very mindful of this and we have to encourage the child to start working in those subjects in which they do naturally well and uh, today uh, uh, if you ask me the skills that the children need there is so much being discussed even in the nep about the 21st century skills uh, i would say that uh, we have to inculcate life skills into children uh, when they go into universities because they are stepping out into a big wide world where they have to take care of themselves so i think skills like communication decision making how to say no to something not to give in to something that they don't want to do under pressure and identifying one's strengths and weaknesses Uh, instead of other people telling you're not good at it, it will be so good if the child can say, "I don't think I'm good at this, and I, I should not be doing this." Right? So I think uh, uh, self-awareness is something that we have to teach the child very early on. Uh, and also, uh, recently I wrote an article on this. Also, uh, EQ is something that we have to focus on. It is the skill that is going to help children be. successful and happy they can take up any uh, career or any profession but if they have to be successful then their eq has to be very very high coping up with stress facing challenges in a calm demeanor uh, not uh, harming themselves when they uh, are faced with uh, dilemmas so i think these are a few life skills we have to teach children so that they will be successful in universities Well said, ma'am. Positive stress, you stress, can help student overcome the anxiety and nervousness. Uh, ma'am, uh, are there any resources or programs to support students to navigate uh, the university application process? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, today, uh, students are very lucky. I would say there are a whole lot of private players uh, in this uh, regard. Uh, and they are doing extremely good job you know they are connected to schools and they conduct a structured program on career counseling 
many schools uh, take take that up but i would also like to mention that cbsc on their official website cbsc.nic.in there is a, a link to careers and career counseling and i must say that it is an exhaustive resource that cbsc has put up they have a whole lot of information about what the child can do if they've taken up science if they've taken up commerce if they've taken up humanities what are the possibilities what are the options which are the colleges that are offering what is the fee structure what is the deadline for them to apply what kind of entrance exam do they have to write? So I would suggest that students do visit this and make use of it. It's a free resource readily available. Beyond that, if they need help, there are a lot of people who can help them. There are private, uh, uh, you know, organizations that do that. But so I must also mention that uh, one of the resources uh, which can be tapped into is again EduTV. Uh, they offer all their uh, support system again free of cost uh, uh, they are more than willing to organize bring universities we have done that last year also we have had uh, indian and uh, foreign universities who came in to talk to our children to our parents a lot of online sessions and many of our children have got an opportunity to interview people across the country which yes. builds confidence so uh, thank you edu tv and thank you pranav i would just like to intervene uh, madam Anupama Ramachandra's advocacy for supporting students for higher education is so strong. Uh, last two, last week only she was in the US and we had to organize a visit of her class 12 students to a university in Bangalore. So from US, I sent her a WhatsApp from US she uh, coordinated and she organized, it was so meticulously organized that talks about her leadership also. So I really, I'm really thankful to uh, Mrs. Manupama Ramachandra for this and Dr. Hindu Prabha Patak also from Ansal University. Ansal University had been always supporting us since beginning. I'm just talking about uh, roughly 10 years back. We had we have got a recruitment company also. So we had to interview roughly 800 people for our client Al Nabuda in Dubai. So we requested Ansal University if we can use their facility. All the interviews, practical examinations were held their own. So I am I look forward for a very close association of Delhi Public School, Electronic City, Bangalore and Sushant University, Gurgaon. So we can do more closely, we can interact. I would also request Dr. Hindu, if your experts can counsel the students of DPS Electronic City, maybe online, offline, that will organize and I'm very thankful to both of you for taking out time for helping the students. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. Ladies. Thank you so much Thank for this conversation. Thank you so and much. Dr. Hindu, Thank you so much. They were wonderful questions and very thoughtful. Yeah.